Sleeping Beauty went to bed, and she didn't wake up for over a hundred years. Well, her alarm clock was made in Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> Only joking. Anyway, our prince will be here any moment. Here he comes now. I'll lie. Damn parachutes. <laughs> Gosh. When I was just a little boy, I asked my mummy, what will I be? Will I be handsome? Will I be rich? Here's what she said to me. Yes. <laughs> Ah, I wonder if I should wake her and tempt her to a royal nut cluster. <laughs> oh, hello, your royal chocolate. Surprise, surprise. My God, it's her. The human race's answer to the laughing hyena. <laughs> Isn't he a freak? Listen, your imperial leather. We've got three sleeping beauties here. And we want you to pick which one you want to take on your blind date. Oh, I get it. Jolly good. It's a game. It's like, um, three, two, one. Uh, three, two, three. I must ask Ted next time I see him how he does that. Uh, I, I'll choose number three. Yeah, we've got a royal wally here. <laughs> All right, well, you turn down number one who was the lovely Suzanne Mitzi. Oh, what a fine example of British architecture. Yeah, well, we also turned down number two, who was the lovely Maria Whitaker. Naughty, naughty. Yes, but nicey, nicey. And now we get to the one you've chosen. Oh, goody, goody. Number three. All the way from up there in Granada land. Yes, it's the lovely Mavis. <laughs> One is certain, one has dropped one. Well, which one's gonna choose the car then? Come on, which one? Uh, go on, me. From a party crowd, and who needs a record turned up loud? On went two, we two can have a party all alone. Two can have a party, two can have a party. Pretty music and a cozy chair. Lights down low and holding you near. Well, we two, we two can have a party all alone. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Two, two, two can have a party all along. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Two, two, two can have a party. 